So far this van build's been going pretty good. Even though at times it's really hard to tell that we're making any forward progress, we really are getting a lot done. I've learned how to do a whole bunch of new things from using high pressure laminate, spray on adhesive, and working with 8020 to frame out all my cabinets. And finally, it's all starting to come together and look like a finished product. <laughs> All right, welcome back. It's been a while since I did like an update like this, um, but today we are covering all the galley cabinet faces with the high pressure laminate. The gun's all ready to go. The pieces are cut, so now it's time to start gluing. In the past it's gone pretty good, it makes a big mess, but let's get started. False alarm, guns plugged, which seems to be kind of a trend every time we go to use the gun, it's full of glue. <laughs> you any on your hands? <laughs> yeah, quite a bit. <laughs> you think this is like the final take? <laughs> <laughs> I'm by no means an expert on using high pressure laminate in the spray adhesive, but so far I'm really happy with how things are going. It seems to just be a matter of taking your time, and it all seems to turn out pretty good in the end. A method that's worked pretty good for me is once I spray the pieces together, I place wooden strips along each piece and that helps me line up the high pressure laminate in place before finally sticking everything together. Because one thing I learned the hard way is you really only get one shot to stick these pieces together before they're not easily coming apart. Side number one is done on five pieces, one over there. Now we're going to router them all out and then do side number two. I still think this is way faster than painting even though the gun is annoying. <laughs> the jury's out on that one, my dad doesn't quite agree. But this is done, no standing, done. When it comes to latches in your sprinter van, I've tried them all. Magnets, baby latches, you name it, I've tried it. And the ones that work the best for me are marine slam latches. The reason I like them, they look good, they're easy to install, and if the drawer is closed, it's locked and never coming open. Ask any experienced van lifer, and if they don't have marine slam latches, I know they've had that experience when you pack everything up in the van, you hit the road, and that first turn you make, yeah, you guessed it, that drawer comes flying open, crash, bang, and some people it even wrecks their cabinetry. Moving on to the counter for this van, instead of using a butcher block countertop like I used in my vast van, I decided to go with a Baltic birch sort of custom counter. The reason I did this is it's a lot lighter than the butcher block. The butcher block looks beautiful, but it's super heavy. All in all, I'm super happy with how everything turned out. I got the sink cut out in, and I'm gonna go with an undermount sink, and I got the hole cut for the induction stove cooktop. A 
I'll get into the countertop in more detail in a future video, but basically, I cut the hole too big for the cooktop. I was reading 10 and 7 eighths, and it was an inch too much. Just read the tape measure wrong. No one to blame but myself. But nothing a little bit of sanding and creative thinking wouldn't fix. So after we got the countertop all fixed up, it was time to cover with the high pressure laminate. So after taking the gun apart for what seemed like the hundredth time to get this countertop completed, we figured out that it wasn't the gun that was the problem, it was the glue. We were nearing the bottom of the glue in the jug and it was so thick that it was plugging the gun and not coming out nicely. So we switched to a new batch of glue and that seemed to fix the problem. The funny thing is, we've had this exact problem before and we found the solution before but that was three months ago and we totally forgot. So when it comes to the countertop, I decided to go with high pressure laminate again for this. The product's just so easy to use and it looks so good, I figured why not give it a try. The color I decided to go with, I believe it's called Manitoba Maple, which is kind of funny because I'm from Manitoba. And the finished product, super happy with how it all turned out. Basically, we used the same application we did for everything else. We sprayed the top of the countertop with the spray adhesive. We sprayed the backside of the high pressure laminate. We laid our sticks across the countertop to get everything in place and then pulled the stick out in the middle and then worked our way from the center to one end and center to the other end. Once we had the high pressure laminate all laminated to the Baltic birch countertop, it was time to router it all out and that's it. Remember earlier in the video when I said we use the sticks because the glue is super sticky? How's that happen? Is that what you're trying to do? This is what happens when you let something touch the glue when you're not ready for it to touch the glue. I know what it's doing. After making some templates, we decided to upgrade the speakers with Lua and plywood. Step one is we cut some holes for the speakers to go in. Step two was making sure those speakers fit. Step three, when they didn't fit, we made them fit. Step four, cover them in foam. Step five, YouTube another video on how to properly upholster. I don't really know what I'm doing. And every time we do this, I'm kind of winging it. But I'm actually super happy with the final result on literally every piece that we've upholstered. <laughs> but I still don't think I'm the guy to be teaching you how to do it. <laughs> 